I've got a real brain teaser for you today. Let's talk about squares and rectangles. Sometimes people say that squares are a special case of a rectangle. Is that a true statement? It seems like a very elementary idea, right? Squares and rectangles, but we'd like to explore today, is there a hierarchy between the two? Let's first think about what we know about rectangles. The definition of a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. I think I'm gonna draw a picture just to make sure I'm really envisioning the correct thing. So first I know that it's a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, that quad means it has to have four sides, okay? So here's my quadrilateral with four sides. Um, and I know that it needs to have four right angles. And I look and I see that it also has four right angles. Okay, so far so good. The question then is, can a square be a rectangle by this definition? Let's draw a square and just compare the two. You can see here I've drawn my square. I know that a square is also a quadrilateral, and I know that it also has four right angles. So what makes these two things different is that a square has four congruent sides. Based on the definition of rectangle, which is a quadrilateral with four right angles, is this a rectangle? see a quadrilateral with four right angles. However, what makes a square unique is that all of these sides are congruent, right? So we sometimes say that a square is a special type of rectangle. Now, let's go the other direction so that we make sure that we really think deeply about this. So we know that a square is a special case of a rectangle or a special type of a rectangle. So is a rectangle a special case of a square? Let's first reflect on the definition of square. You can see that I've written the definition of square, and notice that we still have a quadrilateral with four right angles, but it has to have four congruent sides. So in that case, is a rectangle a special case of a square? Well, again, for it to be a square, it has to have four congruent sides. In a rectangle, do I have four congruent sides? I do not. So a rectangle cannot be a special type of square. One way to think about this is kind of in a hierarchy, right? So if I want to think of it that rectangles are sort of the bigger, more general idea, and the square is a special case of a rectangle versus the other way around. The square wouldn't be the big idea, and the rectangle would be a special case of that because the rectangle is actually more broad and the square is more specific. So when I'm thinking about a tree diagram, I want to make sure and think of squares as a special subset of the rectangles. I wanna make sure we understand that, so some rectangles are squares, but are all rectangles squares, right? Do all rectangles, and again, thinking about that broad idea of rectangles, not all of them are gonna be squares. However, I want you to also think about, are all squares going to be rectangles, right? So you should be able to answer these questions. All squares can be rectangles based on the definition of rectangles. Based on the definition of squares, only some rectangles can be squares. I hope this clears up uh, confusion on is a square a rectangle or a rectangle square, and you ha now have a better idea of the hierarchy between the two.